an electrostatic device, Trickfield Lines, is situated in Linden in Switzerland. It optically is very imposing and belongs to a religious community, which has called it Testatica, and is of the opinion that it is a free energy converter. Inexplicably the Testatica does not serve the community, which generates their electric power conventionally and to a large extent by itself, as a source of energy. Instead the 2KW device only very seldom is demonstrated for special occasions or to select groups of visitors. The religious community after that explains the astonished observer's humanity not yet is mature for the technology, perhaps allergy, perhaps just the opposite is correct and the technology not yet is mature. According to my personal assessment such an electrostatic device in principle is entirely unsuitable for the continuous operation. It can be expected that the open field lines sooner or later will interrelate with the electricity of the air and thunderstorms are being attracted by the infernal machine so long until lightning strikes and the demonstration with that has finished. That's why the testatica may be switched on only for a short time, only at sure weather situation and not too humid air, and many a registered visitor has been sent away without having seen the thunderstorm machine. As an object of demonstration and study the testatica however is well suited. Alone the circumstance that no cable leads to the device and it nevertheless releases energy in the order of magnitude of 1 till 2 kilowatts, surprises all visitors. At least the impression is mediated as if the machine would violate the law of conservation of energy, which is not correct. The test attica is similar to an induction machine, which works with friction electricity. Thereby the unlikely charged bodies do not have to unconditionally touch and rub at each other, it already is sufficient, if they are brought in the immediate vicinity of each other. In the case of the test attic of the electrostatics of two against one another rotating disc is taken off by brushes. The excitation energy presumably is taken out of the natural E field, which just like that can amount to 200 volts per meter. The large diameter of 80 centimeters of the disc and their bad conductivity, acrylic glass, permit this conclusion. The charge taken off by the brushes afterwards is temporarily stored in two capacitors of two farad, 300 volt, so-called Leiden jars. This far one actually is reminded of a Wimhurst generator, in which the energy is supplied the system by turning the disc. Large powers cannot be drawn by that. Plans to build such an induction machine by yourself have been published. In the case of the test attica however two discs are used and by hand stimulate to rotate oppositely. This rotational energy in this case isn't used to produce power otherwise the disc quickly would stand still again, but that doesn't happen. Until now apparently no one has discovered the secret, which is kept strict by the members of the community. In my opinion the energy situation on our earth however is too serious, as that we would be able to afford playing hide and seek and egoistical secretiveness. The secret of the test attica point is the opposite direction of rotation of both discs. If we assume the static earth electric field is the cause and serves as an excitation field, then as an effect a field arises, which stands perpendicular to that. The axial component now points out of the center of the disc. In the case of only one disc the field lines in front and behind the disc again are closed, so that no open lines can form. With one disc or with two discs rotating in the same direction hence no unknown charges can be attracted. In the case of two oppositely rotating discs however shows one component along the axis of rotation to the axis of rotation to the observer, that of the other disc exactly in the opposite direction. In that way between both discs a pole is, pin, which no longer is able to close all field lines on the outside around the machine. Thus open field lines in A, however incomplete, unipolar arrangement are formed. The charge carriers sucked from the electricity of the air as a result support the natural electrostatics and speedy recharge the capacitors, even if up to 10 amperes are taken out by the consumers. The ingenious thing of the machine is its extremely simple construction and the simple concept. If one includes the collected particles also in the balance sheet of energy, then it thus will turn out that the law of conservation of energy is not violated at all. There thus can't be talked of free energy. In this context the test attica may rather be given as a counterexample. Air ions are the carriers of the electricity of the air and not carriers of free energy. Negative air ions are indispensable for our welfare. One should only remember the first men in space, who after the landing were pulled out of their capsule more dead than alive, after they had to stay in the unhealthy atmosphere of the capsule for a longer period of time. Only the installation of ionizing devices for negative air ions made possible longer staying in space. The taking out of the air of negative ions hence is not unproblematic and not particularly ecologically compatible. An atmosphere harmful to life is formed which Dr. Wilhelm Reich has called door state. He by the way has designed a cloud buster, with which he could take static electricity, forming above the desert sand, out of the air. In that way the negatively charged rain clouds no longer are repelled and driven away. Reich has tested his weather machine 1954 in the desert of Arizona. After he had freed the atmosphere of the, 
door strain, as he expressed himself, in the desert area the atmospheric humidity steadily increased from 15% up to 95%, there grew prairie grass and everything started to turn green, and eventually after many years for the first time rain fell again, static electricity, as far as the right polarity is chosen, may conditionally be used for the mechanics of rain making. For free energy concepts it however isn't suitable. Already, Nikola Tesla has pointed to the circumstance that our hopes will be in vain if the free energy would be of static nature. He in his speech, which he gave 1891 before the aid, has left no doubt that free energy exists, which is kinetic and with that energy technically usable for us. And finally, we have a gift for you that is, tricks to reduce your electricity bill by at least 75%. And the way to complete energy independence, get rid of the monopoly of big energy, you will never have to pay for electricity. electricity. Method, amplify electricity, to make output power greater than input power. See link in description. Thanks for watching.